action. Hey, this is the Ravenous Blackbird, and you've reached my Ravenous Blackbird YouTube channel. What's going on, Ravens fanatics? What's going on, YouTube subscribers? And what's going on to you first-time viewers? Maybe you stumbled upon my channel by accident. Maybe somebody shared my video with you or uh, pointed you to come to this channel. You've come to the right channel. If you are a first-time viewer or have viewed my videos before but still have not subscribed, please click right below this video. You'll see a bell and you'll see subscribe. Click that subscribe button so you will know every time I post a new video, you will get a notification and you and I will be like one, okay? Also, if you have Twitter, follow me on Twitter at the Virgo Poet, at the Virgo Poet. I will post the name of my Twitter right below in the video, below the video all the way at the bottom in the comment section. You'll find the link to my Twitter, the name to my Twitter account. And also, if you are a Baltimore Ravens fan and you're looking for a Baltimore Ravens fans Facebook group, please click the link. You'll find that below as well. Click that link. It'll say Baltimore Ravens Fanatics. That's my group. I'm the administrator. Join our Baltimore Ravens group only if you're a Baltimore Ravens fan. If you're not a Baltimore Ravens fan and I find out that you're not, I'm chucking you out. Anyway, another video for the Ravens Blackbird. And in this video, I'm going to be touching bases on, this is driving me crazy. The Ravens should have been in the Super Bowl this year. And I know a lot of you other guys out there, Ravens fans, and, and maybe some of you that are not Ravens fans that may be watching this channel, that may have felt this was this should have been the Ravens year. And it's just, it's kind of bothering me because you see Kansas City and you see San Francisco, much love to them. Uh, you know, the best team in the NFC, the best team in the AFC, obviously. I still don't believe Kansas City is better than the Baltimore Ravens, but we will never know because they did not play in that AFC Conference Championship game. I was really looking forward to that because I believe that would have been a battle and that would have been the Baltimore Ravens' true test. I think that when they played the Tennessee Titans, I really think that they came uh, unprepared. Uh, I think that uh, the Tennessee Titans came in with a strategy. Uh, their defense was prepared. I don't, I don't believe, like I said before in a few videos ago, uh, called the Ravens Rig Theory. You can find that video in my playlist. I do have a Baltimore Ravens playlist called Let's Talk Ravens. Check that playlist out. It has a list of all my Ravens videos I've done. I even got one in there for you Ravens crybabies called Most Ravens Fans Are Crybabies. And you can check that video out and you will see exactly why I say that. And a lot of it is true. Okay. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about the Ravens should be in the Super Bowl. And uh, it, it's it's eating me up a lot because I really wished to see the Ravens play the Kansas City Chiefs. Plus, at the same time, we lost to the Kansas City Chiefs earlier this season, uh, and we had injuries. We I think this is before we even had Marcus Peters. So our team was tweaked a little bit different at a lesser degree than what it was later on in the season when we started winning all those games, those 12 games, 11 or 12 games straight. Uh, I really believe that the game would have been totally different. Um, and I do not believe the bye. I think the, that long bye that they had, that the Ravens had with the three-week bye or whatever it was, a lot of people say that's the reason why the Titans uh, beat them. I think that had a very little uh, uh, amount of why they lost that game. I really do because they still scrimmage. They still practice. And I know it's, it's, it's still different from playing another team, but they're still warming up to play that game ahead, which was the Tennessee Titans. Uh, that left a, a very bitter taste in my mouth and a lot of you guys' mouths as well. Uh, and it still bothered me to see Kansas City playing the, the 49ers, whom I believe the Ravens should have been playing. But again, should have, could have, would have, <laughs> <laughs> right? Nothing we can do about the past, but look forward to the next season. Prayfully, the, the Baltimore Ravens uh, will, uh, will somehow, somehow keep uh, – uh, Judon, we need to keep Judon, uh, and uh, hopefully Michael Pierce. And, um, you know, I, I, I don't believe uh, uh, 
Yonder has retired yet, but I got a strange feeling this is going to be his last year, the way his, his interviews has been going, the things he's been saying. So we may be losing Marshall Yonder. Uh, he's one of a kind. He's been a Raven, I, you know, for the majority of his career, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, Baltimore Raven, uh, Marshall Yonder, Michael Pierce um, is another questionable uh, thing that I think the Baltimore Ravens, uh, hopefully they can hold on to, and definitely uh, Judon. Uh, because we already lost to Darius Smith, who was a pro bowler this year, who signed a super big linebacker contract. I think he had the biggest linebacker contract in the NFL this season, and he lived up to it. Uh, and him and that other guy, Preston Smith, that played for the Green Bay Packers as well, the, they call him the Smith Brothers. And uh, we lost to Darius Smith, we lost Eric Weddle, and a few other vital pieces. Uh, and the Ravens still have not yet added a pass rusher on top of, of course, losing Terrell Suggs, who now is in the Super Bowl with the Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> <laughs> you know, wow, right? So, um, listen, I just wanted to come in for a minute, man, and check in with my Ravens fans. You know, some of the other videos I've done right before this kind of probably threw you for a loop. There's nothing wrong with experimenting. I did a few videos before this. You can check in my uh, it's called World Events Playlist in regards to Kobe Bryant. If you missed those videos, I did a video, uh, two videos, I think, regarding Kobe Bryant and America Needs to Wake Up After Kobe Bryant's Death. And I did just a recent one about uh, 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 actor uh, Jack Nicholson. And uh, you really need to check that out because you know he's a big time Ravens fan and, and, and you need to check that video out. Just check it out. That's also in my World Current Events Playlist as well. So, uh, yeah, so the, the season is over for the Ravens. I don't know if some of you are looking toward or for the Super Bowl. Some of us as Ravens fans really don't care. Lamar Jackson, let me talk about him for a minute. Congratulations for the MVP, Lamar Jackson. And he still deserves that MVP. He still deserves it. Right on. So, Lamar Jackson, uh, I called it in my Baltimore Ravens uh, Fanatics Facebook group. I When I post Lamar Jackson post in there, I always call them the marvelous thoughts. His thoughts are the marvelous. So I posted a the marvelous thoughts post in my Ravens fanatics group on Facebook, and it was about uh, it, you know he said this that he didn't care who was in the Super Bowl. He said because I guess we, the Ravens weren't there. That's a diehard Raven. He's a he's a Raven to the ball to say I don't care if Kansas City's in the Super Bowl. I don't care if the 49ers is in the Super Bowl. I'm not watching it. That's what Lamar Jackson said, the marvelous thoughts. And a lot of you probably agree. A lot of people on in my uh, uh, Baltimore Ravens Facebook group uh, uh, agrees that basically we don't care because I still believe the Baltimore Ravens should have been there. And I do believe that the Tennessee Titans skated by us, okay, because they could, if they was that good, they should have beat Kansas City. They didn't beat Kansas City, so they're not the best team in the AFC, period, okay? And they weren't even looked at to even get as far as they did. So somewhere the Ravens, I think, underestimated them. That's that's another thing. I think they underestimated the Tennessee, Tennessee Titans going into that game that, hey, we've been winning all these games straight. Who was Tennessee? Uh, you know, they, they were not even picked to go to the Super Bowl this year. They weren't picked to go deep into the playoffs. And I think the Ravens also underestimated them. And also, of course, the Titans defense, I got to give it to them, was pretty good. But I still don't think that they're, they were anywhere near the best team in the AFC. Uh, I would say Kansas City and or the Baltimore Ravens. Okay? So, listen. I don't know if y'all going to watch the Super Bowl or not. A lot of us don't really care. It's still eating me alive that the Ravens is not going to be there. But it doesn't take away the accomplishment, accomplishments that we accomplished or that the Ravens accomplished this season with Lamar Jackson breaking Michael Vick's record. Uh, the 36... Uh, 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 touchdown passes in a row with only, what, six interceptions at that time. Uh, we had won, like, 12 games straight. Uh, 12 Ravens picked for the Pro Bowl. Uh, I mean, just all of these accomplishments. Mark Ingram breaks a rushing record. You know, uh, Marcus Peters comes over in a, in, in a trade uh, from the Los Angeles Rams, and he begins to tear it up out there, you know, Ed Reed style. So, listen, we got a lot of people, Ravens fans, to be proud and thankful for this season, even though we didn't go to the Super Bowl this year. We were that much closer. And we're going to be that much closer next season. This is the Ravenous Blackbird. Again, subscribe to my channel. 
Follow me on Twitter. Join my Baltimore Ravens uh, Fanatics Facebook group. The links are posted way below in the comment section. Leave comments up under the video. Let me know you watch the video. Let me know you like it. Let me know you don't like it. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. I'm going to get more thumbs up than thumbs down. So it really don't matter whether or not you thumb me down. <laughs> okay? I'll see y'all in the next video. This is Ravens Blackbird. Call, call.